okay so the video that i am making today is uh, the robot is running on this code the code version is 19 so i have been working i have been working a lot on getting things correct getting it efficient getting the code run efficiently as it is running the inverse kinematics in real time so i'll explain that later okay so i'll just get back to the real business here so in this video i'll just show you the basic operations of the robot and how i'm able to control the movements a few basic movements using my radio controller okay so let's get to it i'll restart the controller so right now i need to initiate the command from the serial monitor it prompts me to enter any key and it also says that set robot to home position and press any key which means i need to set my robot to uh, defined position defined position uh, i cannot move because I, I need to disconnect and I do not have a switch I did not add a switch which cuts the power off so I'll just as you'll, as you'll see the moment I press I, I enter the command to the serial monitor the robot will go back to its initial position which I call the home position okay so I'm entering the command so this is the position which I need to set my robot when it starts okay so the robot is switched on it's powered up so now I will send commands through the radio transmitter So what I'm doing here is I'm changing the vertical axis. It is the height axis of the or the height coordinate of the robot. In my case, this is X. The vertical axis is the X coordinate. So I am sending commands over the radio transmitter to change the X coordinate, which is the height in this case. So it moves in the vertical axis. And as you can see, it is responsive. The code is actually running the inverse kinematics in real time. The moment I am, I am changing this throttle position to the X coordinate changes. The moment the X coordinate changes, the inverse kinematic is run within the controller, and then the necessary join angles are generated. So this is happening in real time. So this is, I'm, I would like to emphasize here that the response is quite fast, it does not lag, which I believe is a success in my code, given the computational power of an Arduino Nano. And on the other, so I'm changing the lateral coordinate, in my case it is the Y coordinate. Okay, so the other coordinates are controlled through the right hand stick. So I'm changing the as you can see I'm changing the lateral axis, the lateral coordinate. This is the y axis in my case. And if I show you the side view okay I'll first increase the height okay I've increased the height and now I can control the four F axis or the longitudinal axis Sorry, this is the longitudinal axis. As you can see,
Now I'll show you the mix movement, a combination movement of the lateral and the longitudinal axis. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.